Two major stories just into our newsroom tonight. Right now, South Bend police are investigating after a teen is shot in the chest on the city's west side. Also happening right now, the lights just coming back on at Notre Dame following a widespread power outage. Let's get to that story first. WSBT's Rachel Lake is on campus right now. Rachel, scary for people on campus tonight, really. Jen Rick, a Notre Dame spokesperson, confirmed to me that several people were trapped in elevators during the power outage. Everyone is safe and sound, and there were no injuries. As you can see behind me, all the power is back on on campus, and traffic is flowing smoothly. Now, the power outage lasted about an hour and a half, and officials still don't know what caused the power to go out. But as you can imagine, there was a lot of confusion for students. And now one student told me that she actually was without power for about an hour. And I don't know if you had the chance to actually hear from her, but there was a lot of confusion. She did say, though, that the emergency lights stayed on. It's also worth mentioning that 758 customers uh, that have power out in St. Joseph County. So it's not just this area that is being affected. Again, there is no, the officials are not sure what caused the power to go out, but the power is completely back on here on Notre Dame campus. Reporting live from Notre Dame, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News. The other big breaking story we're following right now, a shooting. In